Now, in a diplomatic shift, the Central American Parliament has voted to expel Taiwan, ending its more than two decade long status as a permanent observer and has extended a hand of welcome to none other than China. This momentous decision underscores China's burgeoning economic influence in Latin America, which has steadily pushed Taipei to the sidelines. The fateful decision unfolded within the walls of uh, Palacens meeting in Managua, Nicaragua. Local legislators uh, resolute in their stance proposed the inclusion of China, underlining its claim over Taiwan as an integral part of its territory. Taiwan's foreign ministry, in a swift response, declared its uh, immediate withdrawal from uh, Palacen, citing uh, the preservation of national dignity as the driving force behind this move. Moreover, Taiwan strongly condemned what it views as China's determined efforts to stifle its international participation. The Central American Parliament, grounding its uh, argument in the United Nations 1971 expulsion of Taiwan in favor of China, asserted that uh, this event essentially designated Taiwan as a mainland China province. Consequently, this uh, classification was deemed incompatible with Taiwan's aspirations to participate independently on the international stage. This development serves as a poignant illustration of China's expanding sphere of influence in Central America as countries such as Nicaragua, Panama and the Dominican Republic have all recently served severed diplomatic ties with Taiwan in favor of closer relations with China. Guatemala stands as uh, the lone member within uh, Parlasen that continues to recognize Taiwan. The seismic diplomatic shift prompted uh, swift reactions on the international stage. U.S. issued a joint statement condemning the vote. They applauded Taiwan's role as a partner serving as a permanent observer of the Central American Parliament since 1999. Furthermore, uh, the United States lauded Taiwan's contributions to promoting good governance and fostering economic development in the hemisphere. The senators also levied accusations against China, asserting its role in undermining democratic values, obstructing regional growth and perpetuating human rights abuses against Uyghurs in Xinjiang. China has staunchly denied allegations of human rights abuses in Xinjiang and as of now, its uh, United States Embassy has refrained from responding to requests for comment. In the realm of international diplomacy, the United States officially recognizes China while maintaining unofficial relations with Taiwan. The Biden administration has publicly expressed its opposition to any attempts aimed at altering the status quo with regard to Taiwan. Taiwan, in a pointed response to this significant diplomatic setback, criticized Nicaragua as a mere pawn in China's geopolitical chessboard. The decision to oust Taiwan from uh, Parlasen adds to a series of uh, diplomatic blows for Taipei following Honduras's decision earlier this year to sever official ties with Taiwan in favor of China. Now, Jeff Liu, a spokesperson for Taiwan's foreign ministry, did not mince words when he described Taiwan's removal from Parlasen as evidence of, uh, quote-unquote, the expansion of authoritarianism in Latin America. Liu went on to underscore the, that both China and Nicaragua are characterized by authoritarian governance and suggested that this decision constitutes an attack not only on Taiwan, but on the principles of democracy upheld by the global community. Despite the setback, Taiwan remains resolute as it withdraws from uh, Parlasen to safeguard its sovereignty and uphold its dignity, it maintains its commitment to participating in other regional organizations, including the Central American Bank for Economic Integration and the Central American Integration System. China, on the other hand, welcomed the resolution passed by the Parlasen, viewing it as a reaffirmation of uh, the One China Principle. Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin hailed this development as an inevitable tide driven by the aspirations of the people, signaling that the principle of a unified China is an unstoppable force. This unfolding diplomatic saga underscores the multifaceted nature of geopolitics, as China's military drills near Taiwan and the ban on Taiwanese mango imports 
serve as stark reminders of the complex interplay between economic interests, political allegiances and international relations. As the world watches Taiwan's future in the realm of international recognition continues to evolve, an issue where economic incentives, political principles and the destinies of nations hang in balance. The dictatorship of Daniel Ortega is willing to become a pawn of China. It tyrannously used a United Nations Resolution 275, manipulated the fallacy of the so-called One China Principle, disregarded regional democratic developments and welfare of the local community by seizing our rights in the Palestine. It highlights China's intention to undermine democracy in Central America and its ambition to expand in the region. It is very clear that China is the mastermind behind all this.